Hello everyone, today I will teach you how to work with quarterly data. Most of the data in macroeconomics are quarterly. For example, GDP is quarterly. So let's get it from the web and most of the data we will get from Fred dataset. And Fred dataset is data coming from Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis. It's a wonderful data set. It's very accessible, very easy to manipulate. And we are interested in billions of change, chain $2009 quarterly, seasonally adjusted annual rate. All right. So we get this data. Let me put it to the folder for our course. This is an old file, so uh, let's call it GDP quarterly. Okay, this is our Excel file, and we need to delete everything but the data itself and variable names. Okay, so we've got here observation date and GDP. Let me name. Rename the variables to make them a bit more convenient. So we have date and GDP. And if with GDP everything is clear, with quarters it's not so easy. Uh, for example, if we copy this data set to Stata, it will not easily see that the date variable is. Uh, with the date variable here has the right format. Let's try it and see. So here Stata thinks that we have a string variable consisting of 10 symbols. So somehow we have to tell Stata that this is a date variable uh, it reflects some kind of ordering of GDP and it's not it's not immediate in Stata. It's not super hard, but it's maybe a little bit tricky. Alright, so Stata for help with dates and time uh, we can go to Stata help facility And my laptop is a little slow, so let's wait for a few seconds. And here we have chapter 24, working with dates and times. So that's where we go. And so this is typically how we write dates. And this is what Stata calls human readable forms. The, on the other hand, Stata doesn't understand those. You need to translate your data to Stata language. In Stata language, for example, if your data is weekly and you tell Stata that your data is weekly, then week zero corresponds to the first week of 1960. First week corresponds to the Week number one corresponds to the second week of 1960. Week negative one corresponds to the last week of 1959. Similarly, months for months, months number zero corresponds to 1960 month one. Quarter zero corresponds to 1960 quarter one. Uh, what I mean is that Quarter zero in Stata format corresponds to 1960 quarter one in human format. And for years it's identical. Human 
form and state of form are identical. All right, so let's check it. For example, stata, stata has a conversion commands. So tm, for example, tw will tell you what is the stata format number uh, of uh, the year and the week you will tell it. For example, if you say uh, can display time weekly 1960 week 1 it will generate 0. If we display time weekly 2000, 2010 week 1 it will have 2600. Uh, that makes sense because we have 50 years for 55 weeks in a year. So we are interested in quarters here. And our data begins with 1947 quarter 1. So what we will do is ask data to display time quarters 1947 quarter 1. And that will be negative 52. Now we know that in stata language our quarters begin with negative 52. Next is negative 51. And here we have a number for each quarter now. Now I will go to data editor and copy the data there one more time. The first row corresponds to variable names and now we see that quarters in stata language are displayed here but we want to see them in our human language so once we converted data to stata language we could always display it for us in human language so that computations will be done in stata language but graphs plots scatter plots things like that will be displayed in human format and so we will tell the data that they are quarterly and now we have a full data set now we can run uh, all kind of stationarity tests now stata knows that gdp uh, in observation 9 corresponds to 1949 quarter 1. Uh, in this case we will say that we have work with the time series uh, with command line ts set quarter. In a similar way uh, you could work with weekly, monthly or yearly data set. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a great day.